Hello good day viewers. In this tutorial we are going to find out a solution to this puzzle. You can see it right here. Our main target is to find a solution to the last equation. You can see different equations here that are formed by various fruits. The first equation is formed by adding two slices of watermelon together to give rise to a pineapple. If you are familiar with algebra, you know we do use some things to represent numbers, mostly letters. This time around we are using fruits to represent numbers. So each of these fruits represents some numbers. The second equation you can see uh, it is a guiding egg that is divided by a slice of lemon to give rise to a real number three or a whole number three. The third equation you can see it here, it is a slice of lemon multiplied by an apple. I can't really identify this fruit, but let us just assume it is an apple. A slice of lemon multiplied by an apple to be equal to a pineapple plus one. The fourth equation you can see here, it is a guiding egg plus pineapple minus 5 equal to 50. And the fifth equation, it is a slice of lemon plus 3 equals 10. But our main target is to find a solution to an apple minus a slice of watermelon divided by 4. What will this give us? To find out this solution, we have to find the value of this apple and the slice of watermelon. So for convenience, since I cannot draw all of this, let us represent them with some numbers. You can see I have represented watermelons, a slice of watermelon by W and um, pineapple by P. This is a guiding egg. This is a lemon, lemon, apple, pineapple, guiding egg pineapple, lemon, apple, watermelon. So, let's start. Okay. What we are looking for, W, E, L. So let me bring them here. So we have W, we want to find out the value. We have E, we have L, we have A, P, Which other one again? We have L, we have E. All right, let's begin. Uh, for convenience, let us start with this equation right here. You can see we only have a single variable here, which is L. So from this equation here, L plus three is equal to 10. What does this mean? If we take three to the right, it becomes negative. So we have L equal to 10 minus three and L is equal to seven because 10 minus three is seven. So each slice of lemon represents seven. So we can bring it here. We have seven. Okay, let us see which other equation. Uh, we can use this equation right here. You can see E divided by L is equal to three because already we have our L value, which is equal to seven. So from that equation, E divided by L is equal to three. E divided by seven is equal to three. This means that if seven is dividing, if you take it to the right, it will multiply always. When a term crosses equality sign, it will do the opposite. The operation here is division. The opposite of division is multiplication. Finally, you can see that E is equal to three multiplied by seven and E is equal to 21. So you can see E is 21. Okay, which equation again? We have used this and this. Okay, we can use this equation right here because we have two variables. But E is already known. We can use it to find the value of P. So from that equation, you can see that E plus P minus five is equal to 50. But E is 21, so we have 21 plus P minus five is equal to 50. What do we do? 
um, we can take all of them uh, to the right, leaving P alone. So P will be equal to 50 plus 5 minus 21. 50 plus 5 is 55, then 55 um, minus 21 is 34. P is equal to 34. You can see we are progressing. P is 34. What is left for us to find is W and E. For W from the first equation right here, you can see we have W plus W is equal to P. W and W are the same values, so we have two of them equals, but P is 34. W finally, because 2 is multiplying, if it crosses over equality sign, it will divide. So we have 34 divided by 2. And 34 divided by 2 will be equal to 17. W is equal to 17. So W is 17. Let us bring it here. This is the only equation we have not used. L multiplied by A is equal to P plus 1. Let me wipe this side. L multiplied by A, which is the same thing as LA. I can put my dot product there. Is equal to P plus 1. Is L known? Yes, it's 7. Multiplied by A. Still, we don't know A. We are looking for A. P is 34 plus 1. To the right, 7a here. To the right, we have 35. Divide both sides by 7. Finally, a is equal to 5 because 35 divided by 7 is equal to 5. a is equal to 5. All the unknown variables have been of 10, but we only need a and w to solve our main equation that we are looking for you can see that the last equation is a minus w divided by 4 equals what let's simplify it a is 5 so we have 5 minus w is 17 divided by 4 this is where the problem is if you don't know the operation to begin with, you are in trouble. Because applying board mass, you know, you have to start by simplifying the bracket. You know, this is board mass. If you have a bracket, you simplify what is in the bracket. O stands for orders. That is example of orders are roots, square roots, even logarithms. Division, you can see this is division and multiplication. They are done simultaneously, but you have to start with the one that comes first from the left to the right. But we only have division here. So this becomes 5 minus 17 divided by 4. To simplify this, you can just multiply this by this. 4 times 5 is 20, then minus 17 divided by 4. This is how to simplify this. 20 minus 17 is 3 over 4. You can see finally, A minus W divided by 4 is nothing but 3 divided by 4. So the solution to the last equation that we are looking for is just 3 divided by 4. And this is all I have for you today. Thank you for watching. Do share to your learning colleagues and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more exciting videos.